friends today i am going to present the topic of watson and crick model of dna which is also called road ripen model of double helical dna friends in this video i will elaborate all the main points proposed by the watson and crick model of dna related to the double helical structure of dna just in order to make you understand what they proposed actually so let's start the session This model was presented by James Watson and Francis Crick in 1953. They used X-ray diffraction method in order to find out, in order to discover the double helical structure of DNA. Friends, as I told in my previous video, elaborately the structure of DNA. So I will not waste time over here. I will just give you a brief preview of the single strand of DNA and what the DNA is. DNA is basically a specific ordered sequence of nucleotides. You can see over here there are three molecules of nucleotides, and these nucleotide molecules are attached with each other through the phosphate group. Now come towards the main points. What what they actually proposed? They proposed, or you can see, they discovered the two polynucleotide chains of DNA, as you can see in this picture, are held together by the hydrogen bonding. This is hydrogen bond, and these hydrogen bonds are between the bases of the opposing strands. There are two strands, one strand and the two, another strand, and these bonds are held between bases of the opposing strands. Friends, base pairings occurs only between specific complementary bases. That's A pairs with only T, and G pairs only with C. The A T base pairs are held together by two hydrogen bonds, and the G C base pairs are held together by three hydrogen bonds. Friends, the number of complementary base pairs. is often used to characterize the length of a double stranded dna molecule a dna molecule has possesses thousands and millions of base pairs so they designate as kilo base pairs or mega base pairs friends one human chromosome dna that's a double stranded helix possesses 263 mega base pairs They also discovered that the two strands of a duplex DNA molecule run in opposite direction. That means that they are anti-parallel chains. One chain is oriented from three prime to five prime direction, while the other is oriented from five prime to three prime direction. Friends, they discovered that the DNA consists of two long chains, or you can say strands, that form a double-stranded helix. The A T and G C base pairs lie within the interior. As you can see, there are four colors. These row-like structures are blue, black, red, and then green. They shows or they represents the four types of bases. while this ribbon like or you can say curve like structure is basically made up of sugar and phosphate group which basically forms the backbone of this structure friends why it is called road ribbon model of double helical dna because the roads represents the complementary base pairs and the ribbons represent the deoxyribose phosphate backbones and friends the most important question is that why this helical structure is formed basically there are two strands of the dna why they convert into a helical structure this helical structure is basically forms due to the hydrogen bonding which is between these base pairs Now come towards the main functions of DNA. What the function of DNA is? DNA is responsible for the production of protein. Secondly, it is responsible to pass encoded information to new cell with high accuracy. Hope you like the video and understand the Watson and Crick model clearly. I will try to make you understand in a very simple and brief manner. 
If you like this video, then please subscribe my channel and also share it. We'll meet in my next session. Up till then, Allah Hafiz.